Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and create a object in Illustrator and animate it in After Effects. So I'll take a, give you guys a quick look at what we'll be creating. And this is essentially what we're doing, creating a rocket in Illustrator and animating it all in After Effects. So uh, I think it's a great tutorial because we're going to be going over a lot of basic concepts. But uh, if you've been keeping up with my channel recently, I posted a couple of videos in the past week. Uh, on creating these uh, flat icons in After Effects, which is very similar to what we'll be doing in Illustrator. Uh, here's a stroke one, and a little while ago I created how to create more of a flat icon in Illustrator. However, uh, the best way to do this if you want to create some sort of icon for your animated videos is to kind of create them in After Effects. You know, these two videos right here uh, were both all created inside of After Effects and not Illustrator. And the thing about uh, Illustrator is that it's a lot more intuitive to design uh, vectors and graphics inside of you know Illustrator and then bring it over to After Effects to animate it because the tools in After Effects can sometimes be a little bit uh, tedious to use. So uh, in this tutorial we're going to properly go through how to create an object or create a vector in Illustrator and get it prepped up to so you can send it over to After Effects to animate it. So we're going to go ahead and create a rocket because I think that was kind of complex enough. You know I mean it's not the most complex thing ever but uh, you know, I think you know, there's a few elements that, or a few techniques we'll talk about. So let's go ahead and create a new document. And if, if this is your first time ever using Illustrator, um, if you want to create a new document, go up to File, New, and uh, you know you can type the name of your project. And we're gonna do 1920 by 1080 because um, that's you know the frame size of our video. All right, so let's get this started. Let's think about what shapes we can use to create a rocky easily. Maybe we can use a rectangle and an ellipse. So what we'll do is we'll go to the rectangle here and we'll just draw out a rectangle just like this. And let's go to the ellipse tool here and let's go ahead and draw out a perfect circle by clicking a point and holding down Alt and Shift on our keyboard to draw out a perfect circle like this. And then let's go ahead and kind of move this in over, right, right over our rectangle and let's kind of scale it down just by a little bit and you know to is perfectly aligned. And let's go ahead and move this up to like right there and we gotta see that perfect intercept button and now we have our circle and rectangle and then what I'm gonna do is go up to window and click on pathfinder and then I'm gonna go ahead and click the unite button or the add button and now both of our shapes are added together and now we can start kind of modeling the base of our rocket so what I'll do so what I'll do is I'll go to the direct selection tool here and I will click our point here and I'll kind of just drag it in just like this and then what I'll do is hit P on my keyboard and hold down Alt and click this point here and kind of draw out our vertices, kind of like that. And then what I'll do is go back to A and I'll draw, drag this one out by a little bit and kind of slope this out just by a touch. All right. And then what I'll do is click our top point with the uh, direct selection tool and maybe what I'll do is kind of draw this, drag this in just by a little bit. All right. And maybe I'll go ahead and click this point and drag that in just by a touch as well and maybe now I'll kind of draw that one back up like that all right so cool and what we're going to do is hit P on our keyboard to go to the pen tool and we're going to delete uh, these two points here and you know maybe we'll just close this one up all right and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, select the shape here and we're going to copy it and we're going to go to edit paste in place and then go to object transform reflect and make sure to reflect it over the vertical axis and click OK and then what we're going to do is just mash this up at the top, kind of like that. All right, and we're going to go ahead and clean this up down here. So what I'll do is I'll go to the pen tool and I'll click a point here and go straight across like this and kind of just close this up just like that. And then I'll select everything again and click the add button. And maybe what I'll do is I'll kind of maybe scrunch this up and, you know, kind of just stretch it out enough to make it look like a rocket. All right, and that's pretty okay for our uh, rocket base. So what I'm gonna do now is maybe go ahead and create some wings here and I'll go to the pen tool and we'll kind of just go here, go down to where we want the end wing to stop and we'll just hold down shift and we'll kind of draw out like a perfect uh, sort of angle like that. And then what we'll do is we'll hold down alt and click this here to get rid of this vertice. And then we'll kind of go right over here and hold down shift and kind of just like draw this out like this. And now we have a wing, hit alt and I'll close this up and it looks pretty good and what I'll do is maybe I'll click the base here maybe I'll set it to like a wider shade there and then I'll set this color right here to like my logo color which is you know this pink color 
and there it is. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and select this uh, wing here, right click it, go to arrange, send it back. And we'll go ahead and copy this, go to edit, paste in place, and then go to object, transform, reflect, and that's fine. And then we'll go ahead and move this over here. And then we'll go ahead and send this to back again. And that should be okay. So right now we have a rocket. And then what I'll do, maybe kind of create like a wing in the front as I'll go to the ellipse tool. And what I'll do is I'll kind of like draw out like a sort of an oval, a very thin oval like this. So then I'll go right to the pen tool. I'll zoom in here. And then I'll hold down Alt and I will click this vertice at the top and hold down Alt and click the vertice at the bottom. So now we kind of have like this uh, straight edge. And then let's go here and kind of center this right up, which is right here. And we'll have it just like that. Maybe I'll scale it down just by a little bit. There we go. All right, so now we have our uh, wings. Maybe I'll move it down just a little bit. Okay, and then let's go ahead and create like the window. So we'll go to the ellipse tool and we'll just like draw out a perfect circle just like this. And then let's go ahead and change the color to like a darker color. And then let's go ahead and uh, increase the stroke to add an outline. And I'll go ahead and double click the stroke down here and I'll change the color real fast. And boom, let's go ahead and put our window you know, like right here. Maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller. Maybe I'll bring our wing down just a little bit more so we have more room. So then what I'll do is then I'll go to our window and I'll copy it and then I'll go ahead and paste it in place. And we'll go ahead and like make it a little bit smaller, kind of like like this. And then we'll turn off the stroke completely. And we'll go ahead and set this to white. And this will add just a little bit more detail into our rocket here. And I'll copy and paste in place. And we'll move it this one over here and make it a little bit smaller. So now we have complete some detail in our window. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and select all three of our elements here. And I'll copy and paste in place. And I'll move this one up just by a little bit and make it a little bit larger. Maybe not so big, but very close to it. All right, and then what else I'll do is I'll maybe I'll go to our pen tool here and maybe I'll go to like right over here and I'll click a straight point across like this and then I'll go ahead and just like click around this and close it up and I'll go ahead and change the color of this to um, pink and then here's the fun part. Let's go ahead and select, make sure this is selected in the base of our rocket and let's go to the shape builder tool, which is right here. And let's hold down Alt and let's delete the outside edge. And here's the uh, you know tip of our rocket. And it's a different color. It looks pretty cool. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just go here and make our windows just a wee bit smaller and move it down. And maybe I'll move our wing down a little bit more. So to finish this rocket, let's go ahead and create a flame. So let's go ahead and select the pen tool. And I'll click a point like this. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll kind of create like a jagged edge just like this. And then move up a little bit and then bring it down and kind of just keep it consistent. I'm not going to go ahead and duplicate this because it's just like kind of a simple element and close that up. And it's not perfect, but for the most part, this is going to get by just fine. And maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger and we'll go ahead and maybe change the color to like orange or something. And we'll kind of go ahead and put this underneath or we'll go to uh, right click, go to range, send it back. And, you know, let's go ahead and increase the stroke on this move to eight points and then let's go ahead and set this color to like red. Okay, let's go ahead and kind of make this a little bit bigger. And maybe we'll move it over to kind of get that in there. And let's go maybe move this back up. I'll make this wing smaller. There we go. All right, so now we have our rocket and I can maybe go here and rotate it by 45 degrees and maybe we'll make it just a wee bit smaller and we'll move it over here. All right, so now that we're done with our illustration here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna save our project and we're gonna just title it whatever you wanna title it. I'll call it Rocket 3. And then let's go over to After Effects. All right, so now here we are in After Effects and I'm gonna go ahead and grab our rocket and bring it into After Effects and then go ahead and drop it into a new composition here, which is our 1920 by 1080. And let's go ahead and right click our layer and click on Create Shapes from Vector Layer. And so now if we open up our shape layer and go to the contents, we now have a, a separate group or a separate path for every element that we created inside of a shape layer. So it's almost like we did design this here in After Effects. And now we're going to have the most control over every path because it is, in, because it is inside of a uh, shape layer. So that is pretty awesome. And now we're going to be able to animate this and do some awesome things. So maybe the first thing I'll do just to make this easy 
is I'll go to like one second here and hit P on my keyboard to bring up position and hit, uh, click the stopwatch to add a keyframe. I'll go to zero seconds here and I'll just kind of drag this off frame like this. So now I'll just kind of fly in here. And I know this isn't like the realistic way of to how you would probably animate a rocket, but for the tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead and animate each of these elements to come on when our base comes in. So what we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and open this up, go into the contents, hide the transform. And what we need to do is kind of go through and rename everything and kind of see where everything is at. So these are details and this is probably a window. Well, this is a window here. So I'll kind of go here and I'll type in window one without doing 10,000 typos and try to find window two now. So group seven is window two. All right, and then we'll go here to group eight. This is mid wing. All right, I went ahead and renamed everything. And the first thing we're gonna animate, maybe we'll go ahead and do the wing. So I'll go to like the left wing here and I'll go to our transform and I'll click the stopwatch for position and I'll move that keyframe forward in time and I'll kind of like move this one off frame. So now this will just animate on just like that. And then what I'll do is I'll go right to our right wing and go to the transform properties, click the stopwatch for position. I'll move that keyframe forward. Maybe I'll move it a little bit further and then I'll kind of like put this way all the way across just like this. And I'll definitely stretch this out so it has a longer animation to go across. And then maybe we just go to like our details here and I'll go to the transform properties and then, you know, maybe move it forward in time and then click the stopwatch for scale, move that forward in time and put this to zero. And let's go ahead and select both our keyframes here and copy them. So it'd be a lot quicker. And then let's go to group three, uh, go to the transform and let's click on scale here and let's paste the keyframes in there, maybe offset it by a little bit. Let's go to our window scale, you know, and paste the keyframes in there. And maybe we'll go ahead and offset it backwards. So now then the, you know, the window comes on and then the little uh, specular details comes on. And then, you know, we'll go to group five and we'll do pretty much the same exact thing. And this is, you know, a good way to quickly add some animation, make your uh, videos a little bit more interesting and, you know, fun for everyone to watch. And especially you can impress your clients. So I mean, I'm just going here and just pacing in the scale real fast. And I'm just talking just to say stuff, I guess. But um, yeah, for the most part, looking pretty cool. Maybe I'll speed up that wing. Uh, but let's go to the mid wing here and let's go to transform and click on position and add a keyframe for that. Maybe we'll go back in time and then we'll kind of move this off frame kind of like this. So now go boom, boom, boom. And then yeah, looking pretty good. And then let's go to the right wing real fast and let's try the keyframe over. And then the last element here that we really need to take a look at is the flame. So let's go ahead and open that up. And this one's a little bit different. And, this, and the reason why I like to do this in uh, shape layers is because now we can go up to add and we can click on wiggle paths. And uh, well, what we can do now, so basically this effect will make this thing wiggle and kind of look like it's animating. So what I'll do is go ahead and set this to smooth and maybe you know decrease the size by a little bit and maybe increase the details and maybe set the wiggles per second to like three or four. And so now as you can see this, uh, the flame kind of animates a little bit as if it's actually being, you know, is actually a real thing. So it looks pretty good. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is go back up to add and I'm gonna go ahead and click on trim paths. All right. And now what we're gonna do is maybe at the end of our animation here, I'm gonna go ahead and click the stopwatch for end, move that keyframe forward in time and set end to 0%. So we see here it kind of animates on and maybe what I'll do is I'll, you know, put the offset to like, uh, you know, 200 and, you know, 70 ish. So now it'll kind of animate, let's see, I'm trying to get it from boom. So now we kind of have that animation and I'll drag the keyframe in. All right. So now pretty much everything is animating in and that looks pretty good. So what I'll do to finish this off is I'll go ahead and maybe go to the end here, right when the flame, you know, just about comes on, click a stopwatch for position move forward in time and this is just for the regular uh, rocket position move forward in time and then let's go ahead and just drag this off screen so it'll kind of like just shoot out there obviously you know it's probably the cliche thing to do but you know it looks pretty good and then you know of course to make this even more interesting hit u on our keyboard to bring up all the keyframes select all the keyframes hit f9 on our keyboard to make them easy as keyframes and then of course never forget to turn on motion blur which will make things a lot more exciting and after a quick render, this is what we have. And it pretty much did the job. You know, we have this little quick animation here. 
and it is a little bit faster than my initial demo, but for the most part, uh, I believe we went through all the um, necessary elements of creating the stuff in Illustrator and moving over to After Effects for animation. So. I hope you guys learned a few things from this video. If you guys have any questions, please drop a comment down below or hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more content just like this. And if you guys enjoyed the video and it's been helpful, please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you soon.